Hi, I'm Luke. This is Paves Garage. This is the YouTube channel where you can watch me try and rebuild this. So if you're one of my whole 99 subscribers or you follow me on YouTube or Facebook, you probably know that this uh, Pajero Evo never looked like it was in such bad shape before. I used to take this thing to car shows, meets, show and shines, go on cruises, uh, but that all changed about two years ago now. What happened was I was driving this thing on Mount Lofty in Adelaide on a dirt road in the rain with what turned out to be a blown front left shock absorber. It's come up to a blind right hand turn and uh, as I hit the brakes, the shock absorber caused the ABS to kick in. I basically went straight and ended up sliding off the side of the road and uh, ending up on my roof. Despite this thing ending up on its roof, the damage is surprisingly not too bad. The front half of the roof skin now looks like a crumpled up piece of paper, and the section between the two A-pillars was pretty badly bent. Then the section between the A and the B pillar took a pretty nasty hit, leaving it all stoved in and definitely needs to be replaced. The aluminium bonnet is damaged beyond repair, and the plastic vents on the hood scoop are destroyed as well. The back left quarter panel has a few dents in it, and the plastic wide body kit has a crack, and the fuel filler cap also broke off. The front left quarter panel where it meets the door copped a bit of damage. And finally, my sweet Batman fin broke. So to fix all of this, I've purchased about 20 square meters of carbon fiber, a vacuum pump for resin infusion molding, and all the resin you can possibly need. So to make a new carbon fiber roof skin, I've acquired an old short wall based Pajero roof from one of the being effect. In this episode, we're gonna get that thing ready so we can take a mold from it and then make a new carbon fiber roof skin. So as I awkwardly try and get this roof inside the garage, let me just tell you that this video was filmed over the course of a few months. So you can just see my dirty mustache come and go and see a lot of t-shirt changes. But now I've got everything I need to make this project happen fairly quickly, and I'm going to be aiming to release videos fortnightly. So trying to find someone who's wrecking a short wheelbase Pajero who's willing to part with the entire roof is pretty difficult. So I had to settle with a roof with roof rack holders and a sunroof. The roof rack holders were just pop riveted and glued onto the roof. So it was just a matter of drilling out the pop rivets and then prying them off. And one important lesson that I learnt during the filming of this was that being 6 foot 3, even an extra large t-shirt is a little bit too short. So if I'm not wearing a belt, my underwear might hang out. And then with the roof rack holders removed, I just took a wire brush and a drill to the whole area that the uh, roof rack holders were glued to. So then with the roof rack holders removed, I then had to fill in the holes that were left behind. To do this, I used a standard gas and smig welder, which costs less than 200 bucks from just about any hardware store or auto parts store. Uh, after a bit of trial and error, I found out that the best method to do this was just to use really short bursts of less than half a second, which would let a bit of the metal from the welder fill in the hole, and uh, didn't heat up the roof of the skin so much that it would blow out the original steel. And then I just used a flappy disc on an angle grinder to clean up those welds. Alright, now that we've got those holes beautifully plugged, uh, what we're going to do now is try and plug the biggest hole of all, being the sunroof. Uh, plan with this is to uh, basically trim out this uh, whole section around here, make it all nice and flush and then uh, try and weld a whole bunch of sheet metal in and uh, plug it in fairly flush, getting it ready for a whole bunch of bog. Let's see how we go. The cleanest way to do this was to use an angle grinder with a cut off wheel. Where I just traced around the whole edge of the sunroof. And while doing this I realised that aiming the angle grinder at the camera probably wasn't a good idea. It's a mistake I was only going to make once.
And then with the camera still remarkably intact, I flipped the roof over and took the bottom of it with the angle grinder and a uh, paint removal disc, getting it ready to weld in the sheet metal. Now some of the more eagle-eyed viewers amongst you might have noticed that I'm using a piece of galvanised steel here that I'm about to weld and might know that isn't the best thing, but this is the best I could find at my local hardware store, so don't give me too much shit. This sheet metal was just tacked into place, all while wearing a respirator to protect myself from the dirty, dirty galvanised steel fumes. With the hole plugged, the next thing to do was to remove the paint. To do this, I used a chemical paint stripper, which again you can get from just about any auto parts store. This stuff works best if you sand down the surface a bit first. Now, as you can imagine, this paint remover is some pretty nasty stuff. Best to use at least two pairs of gloves and some sort of respirator. All you've got to do with this stuff is paint it on fairly thick. Leave it for a few minutes while the paint bubbles up, and then scrape it off. Alright, that's where we're going to have to end this video. In the next one, you're going to watch me deal with all of this bog. It's an absolute pain in the ass. Uh, but we can get this roof into a state uh, where we actually take a mould from it and uh, hopefully even make a new carbon fibre roof skin. But before you go, do you own a Pajero Evolution? Are you sick of trying to find truck absorbers for it? Well, you're in luck. I've just started pavesgarage.com and teamed up with Predator 4x4, who are one of Australia's best four-wheel drive suspension manufacturers. We're going to do a production run of five sets of Pajero Evolution shock absorbers, which are available for pre-order now on my website for 990 Australian dollars. So if you're starting to feel like a Pajero Evo isn't handling too good, uh, get a set of them now before that happens.